Hi, Dave Scotland for premiumbeat.com and welcome to another quick tip. Now today we're going to take a look at stabilising some footage. The reason why we're stabilising this particular shot is we've got some, uh, some logo graphics that we're going to try and incorporate into the scene and make it look and feel like it belongs in that space and in the scene. And you'll see what I mean as we move forward. Now, the other train of thought for this type of process is to actually track the footage and use the track data, assign that to a null object and then have all of your virtual elements linked to that null object. But unfortunately, what, what can happen is that can get very convoluted and, and really quite hard to uh, manage. So by stabilizing the footage, basically everything will exist in 3D space as a static element. And then the camera will actually take its motion from the stabilized footage and you'll see what I mean as, as we move forward so I've got this footage here it's very simple I'll just uh, play it through it's very simple footage with uh, lots of nice reference points in it to track or, or to use for the stabilization and so what we're going to do is stabilize that footage and take all the movement out of it and then apply that stabilization uh, to a camera to bring the movement back in. This is how we're going to do it. So I'm just going to grab that raw footage. I'm going to drag it down onto my composition button down here in the project window. And what that does is creates a new composition. And by doing that drag and drop onto the composition button, we're guaranteed to get the right frame rate in our composition and the right dimensions for the footage. So what I like to do is uh, apply any sort of tracking or stabilization to a pre-comp and that way we can apply effects to that uh, pre-comp and that will give us a better tracking if we do need to actually up the contrast or, or play with the color channels to get a better track. So it's just good practice. So what I'm going to do is pre-comp the footage and the name, not that important, just as long as comp's in it, it makes it easy to track or easy to find in your uh, project window. And with that selected, we're just going to just going to close this. It'll, it'll pop another one up there. And we're just going to bring up our tracking uh, panel. And we're going to stabilize motion. And immediately it pops up the, uh, the footage window here. And you'll notice at the top that we're looking at the pre-comp, which is exactly what we need to do. And also over in our tracker, the motion source is that pre-comp. Now we want to track position and rotation. And we want to slide in here. And I think if we, uh, the graphic for this purpose, and you do need to bear this in mind whenever you're tracking data, is you need to have a rough idea of what how you're going to use it. And we're going to use this panel on this water feature to put a, uh, a logo, uh, a company logo, and have it look like the sign is actually in that space. So there's a couple of black dots here that I can use. And I'm just going to scale that in a little bit. Just leave the outer square roughly the same size. And then we're going to bring our second track point over to one of these dominant sort of black dots on that surface as well. I'm just going to bring that in a little bit. And there's our two track points and that should should be fine for us to track. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, analyze forward and you'll see that those track points are going to uh, track away and provide uh, that tracking data. Now traditionally with a with a motion track or a track motion um, scenario we would apply that motion to something either a camera or a, a layer or a solid or a null object but uh, stabilization of motion is slightly different. Uh, once that data is tracked, which it is, uh, it's just finished tracking now, once it's tracked, it is applied when we click apply to the actual footage. And in this instance, that's our pre-comp. And you'll see what I mean. If I was to create a new null object and then try to apply, um, I don't get, or, or sorry, edit target, I can't select that null object because it doesn't want me to apply using the stabilized motion. It does not want me to apply it to anything other than the footage. So we'll just get rid of that null object and we can apply 
the X and the Y to our footage and you'll see that it pops up with all of this new tracking data that's come through and if I open up motion trackers uh, we've got track point one and track point two data. Now what we can do is uh, close down that tab there, come back to this window here and I'll just quickly rename the uh, raw footage to master comp and we'll go OK and in that master comp you'll see that our footage is now tracked it is stabilized and you'll see the black areas around the actual scene are basically all of the camera movement has been taken out now there is some subtle movement there uh, given that I wasn't it, it wasn't a locked off tripod shot so there's a little bit of uh, movement going on but relative to the area that we want which was down here on the panel we've we've got it nice and tracked in there so what we can do is we can bring in our logo element I'm just going to bring it down and pop it above the footage I'm just going to switch my toggles and make them both 3d layers and I can zoom in here a little bit and just line up my logo element and we want it to really share this space here go to a point that's it about there I'm probably going to come up slightly and you'll notice on the logo element we've actually painted in some uh, some weather marks and we've given it a little bit of drop shadow and tweaked it a little bit and we did that by just bringing this footage into Photoshop and just using it as a BG reference while we created our our logo there so it looks to me like if I slide this up to the top of that water feature that it's a little bit out in Z rotation so I'm just going to hit R and then I think it's about 0.2 out and that's just going to straighten it up a little bit on that Z rotation so if you, if, if you scrub through, I'll just move that back down to its, its proper position, which is down here. If you scrub through, you'll see now that it is tracked. It is sitting in that space the way it should be. But uh, we want that handheld camera feel to the shot. And, and uh, basically, we're, we're imagining that our client likes the handheld shot, but they just want their logo worked into the scene. So what we can do is create a new camera and we'll just choose a 35 millimeter standard there and we can link if I switch my toggles here and uh, just bring up my parent column we can link the camera to the raw footage and what we'll get is the same as uh, the same shot as we initially had but our our logo is actually perfectly tracked to the footage and I guess just to sell just add this in just to sell the shot there's an element of blur in the shot that's inherent with most uh, live footage and if we just select our um, graphic element there and just go blur sharpen we're just going to put a fast blur of around about 0.2 and that's just really going to help us sort of sell that uh, as existing in that space and the other thing that we can do is just switch our toggles here switch on motion blur and motion blur that layer not the background layer it already has motion blur in it so I'm just kick off a RAM preview and show you what that looks like so there's our RAM preview and you'll see that our graphic element is now in the scene it's got perfect motion for rotation and position and uh, it's working quite nicely so um, I can just I can even just zoom in slightly and show you what that looks like so you'll see that the effect is quite handy to uh, to track and remember that we our graphic element in no way is moving at all in 3D space it's actually static but the camera and the background footage is what's actually moving 
and if we look through the camera we get all of the original camera movement and all of our graphic elements are actually static in 3D space which makes life a lot easier to track everything and to make sure that everything uh, lines up with one another and to make amendments it just gives you greater ver uh, versatility and power uh, throughout the process so uh, there's two two processes we've had a look at there stabilizing footage which gives you a, a nice static sort of image and then using that stabilization uh, baked back into the camera through parenting um, to allow us to add graphic elements so for premiumbeat.com until next time bye for now